After earning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week, Illinois defensive back Xavier Scott is now picking up national recognition. The Illini cornerback was named the Chuck Bednarik Award National Player of the Week today. He also earned Walter Camp FBS National Defensive Player of the Week honors. It all comes after he had two interceptions, including a pick six that you're looking at right now and a forced fumble in Saturday's upset win over then 19th ranked Kansas. The offense wasn't too bad either, especially when it mattered most. Luke Altmaier hit Pat Bryant for a couple big ones in the fourth quarter, and then that was the touchdown drive for Illinois to take the lead. And then on the final drive, they handed the ball off to true freshman Khalil Valentine seven times. He picked up two huge first downs as Illinois ran a whole lot of clock before getting a field goal to make it a touchdown game. It was running backs coach Thad Ward who had the confidence to call on Valentine. He says the preparation he saw made him confident the youngster would rise to the occasion with the game on the line. The California native might have just earned himself a few more carries. Rents do every day. You know, he's got to continue to play. I, I think he put a good practice in the day, a good, a good, a good practice, really good practice. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens. But I, I think, yeah, I mean, if he continue to earn more, he'll continue to earn and get a chance to play a bigger role. He's a guy, like I said earlier, he's going to seek information, whether it's from me. Uh, I uh, specifically sit, sat him next to Aiden Lawfrey, who knows the offense inside and out. And he'll ask questions to him. Those guys help. This I have a mature room. Um, the, the guys are not selfish at all. Um, so they help each other, and, 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 they, and they root for one another. And so, like I said, he seeks information in uh, one way or another. And Ward says Lot Lawfrey has responded well and moved on after a tough drop near the end zone in that first quarter. Of course, Illinois hosts Central Michigan this Saturday, an 11 a.m. kickoff time.